Hey guys, it's Aji. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing once again some TTDI contact lenses. So TTDI sent me a box full of lenses, I think six pairs of lenses, maybe around a month ago. I wasn't really able to review them immediately because I was in Manila, but now I have them right here soaking in solution. I'm actually wearing one right now. Um, but anyway, before we start with the video, I just want to clarify that this is a sponsored video. I'll be 100% honest with regards to my thoughts and how they feel. I'm going to be transparent with my reaction and with my recommendations to you guys. But if this is not the type of content that you want to watch, feel free to click out of this video. It's 100% fine. And for those of you who are going to stay and watch this video, thank you so much. So yeah. Thank you again to TTDI for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's start. So these are my natural eyes. So this is how my natural eyes look like. Um, for the lenses that I got, I have two of the same kind from two different series and then I have two which are from different series so yeah let's first start with the honey snow series so this is honey snow gray on one eye on Sorry if the lighting constantly changes. The weather has been very, very moody. Anyway, while I'm looking at it, this color has a reddish brown limbal ring. I don't know if you can see that. Not even reddish brown, it, it kind of looks like red. And the main color is pulling through a little bit dark, dark gray in a sense that it's also a bluish gray. Um, that's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing specks of that reddish brown color and white kind of layered on top of the main color. And the pupil hole is kind of wide, which I really appreciate because it makes it look less scary, especially with this type of design where it's a little bit artsy, a little bit less natural. Let's move on to the next color, which is also from the same series, Honey Snow Blue. So like I said, this is Honey Snow Blue. I don't know if you can see that right there. Honey Snow Blue. And this color is very similar to the previous one given that they're from the same series. Um, it's also speckled with that honey brown color and white on top of the blue one. Um, I think you guys can see it on the camera. I think it's picking it up well. I mean, aside from that, the only difference that I do have is that um the main color and this blue is a little bit too intimidating for me when i'm looking at it from my mirror like actual mirror um it's a very 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 vibrant and bright blue i think it looks a little bit more subdued here compared to other blue lenses this one is definitely a deeper color but also very saturated very bright and like I said, this could be a little bit too intimidating for people like me who are more into natural looking lenses. So yeah, whether you have bright eyes or dark eyes like mine, this will appear very, very well. 
So next, let's try colors from their kitten series. a very I wouldn't say unique but it's kind of like the first time I think that I've tried a gray color like this from TTDI where it's a gray that's black gray black and white gray rather than bluish gray I don't know if I'm describing it that well but this is how the color looks like to me This is the kind of color that like appears brighter the more the closer it is to the pupil hole. Um, as you can see, the lightest points are around the the pupil, um, and it also has a limbal ring. But the fate of the limbal ring is like pretty smooth. I don't know if I like it. I am experiencing a bit of discomfort when it comes to this eye right here. It feels a little dry, too dry for me. So. I might remove it and I'll be wearing Kitten Brown next. This is Kitten Brown and immediately like off the bat, I can already tell that I like this one better than the Kitten Grey. The color is just a lot better and I also think it suits my hair. So that's why I like it. It suits this look. I don't really have many comments about this one. It's kind of like the same with the Kitten Grey one. I can say though that this one definitely feels much more comfortable. Uh, compared to the kitten gray one, this one does not shift around too much. And I really like the color that they used for the inner color. Like it's a beige kind of brown rather than a red toned brown which may appear scary. Definitely very eye grabbing. Like you can immediately tell that I'm wearing contacts from afar. This would help your eyes pop out and not kind of like drown, especially if you're wearing, if you wear a lot of big lashes. I would definitely recommend this one for that style. So this is Amber Brown. Definitely by far the most comfortable one. This feels the thinnest out of all of the styles that I've tried so far. The color itself, while in the lens case, it looks very transparent. It makes sense that it doesn't add that much of a color when you actually put it on. But it does um, change your eye color, but in a very, very subtle and natural way. I also noticed that this one's a lot closer to the actual pupil hole, like the pupil size is not that wide but you can't really notice it because it blends so well with my natural eye color. If you're looking for similar contact lenses from like Korean brands like let's say Olens, I would say that this has the vibes of Korean contact lenses, you know those very subtle and natural ones. 
this gives off the same feeling. So if you're looking for those kinds of lenses, um, lenses in those style, that will last you for a whole year, this one, very good. Also very comfortable, especially considering that these last for one year. These feel very thin, they don't shift. Even when I blink my eyes constantly, they don't move or like shift around inside my eye. I don't know, I really like it, but anyway, let me take this off and put on the last lens. This is Daisy Chocolate. I have been wanting to try out any color from their Daisy collection. So like you can see it in the lens case when you don't wear it that it has those kind of like petally shapes. And then even when you wear it, you will definitely notice that same pattern. So I would say the design of like those petals and everything make the lens look irregular. Like they don't have a consistent color all throughout. Some, again, like the amber browns, some spots look more vibrant. Like the color looks more full. And the other spots look more sheer, a little bit darker. But I don't know, it kind of adds like a flare to the lens. I don't know, they look very, very pretty. It also has a dark brown limbal ring. But for this color, it kind of looks more like a dark pink. But I'm not mad about that. Listen, pink is my favorite color anyway, so. If that's something I'd like to comment, they have like a daisy brown color and this daisy chocolate sounds like it would be a darker brown but for some reason it's pink. Definitely not the most natural looking. Um, when I'm looking at it in the mirror, you can definitely tell that it's, it's like a light pink color, the center part. But I don't know, this isn't as intimidating to me as other colors, maybe because I really like pink, <laughs> maybe because I like pink that much, but yeah. In terms of like thickness while I'm wearing it, I would say it's very similar to the Honey Snow series. Out of everything that I've tried, I feel like the Kitten series feel the most thick inside the eyes, so yeah. So that has been me trying out and reviewing TTDI contact lenses. If I would maybe give my top three, I would say my top three would be Kitten Brown. My top two would be this color, Daisy Chocolate. And then the top one spot will go to Amber Brown because as you guys may know, I am a natural girly now when it comes to contacts. I feel like Amber Brown look the best on me even with this look but kitten brown also looks very nice with like my new hair color and hairstyle and everything from all the lenses that i've tried today i feel like i've only experienced like real discomfort with um kitten gray i don't know if that's just me or if that's something that you will experience if you buy the same color as well but for kitten brown which is the same design it did not really do that so I'm not sure whether that's just the contact lens that I have or if it's um, the contact lens in general, like with the other batches as well. If you want to try any of the contact lenses that I've tried on today or any of the contact lenses from TTDI, you can always use my code AGAGI10 to get a 10% off discount on your entire order. And you can use it along with their other codes like the B1G2. Um, they always have like buy one get two, buy three get four codes. Um, it's on their website. And I also think they have like the buy five get five free codes still up there. Um, I'll try to put 
all of the codes that I know down in the description down below. I'll also be putting the links of these lenses in the description box down below so you guys can access it whenever. So yeah, once again, that has been me trying out TTDI contact lenses. Thank you so much TTDI for sponsoring this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. And if you want to keep seeing content like this, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Comment down below what contact lenses you think best suited this look and i'll see you guys in my next video bye